Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we're just about to meet a friend of mine in Arabian Ranches. Uh, he's got his McLaren 675 LT back from some kind of cosmetic change. He hasn't told me what it is. I'm assuming it's a color change unless he's done something very radical. But let's find out together. We're gonna go for a drive right now and uh, see what it's all about. Let's go. Hey everyone, we're back and we've just arrived at the meeting point in Arabian Ranches and I got off the phone with Rami uh, a few minutes ago and he told me he's a few minutes behind me so we should be arriving relatively at the same time but before he arrives I just wanted to share the excitement because I have no idea what color he's gone for and I know he's gone for something radical but let's take a guess together and this time before he gets here what color do you think he has changed his McLaren 675 LT that used to be silver. So what color would you go for? I don't know. I, I couldn't even answer that myself. But let's see. If I know Rami, I'm going to say either a lizard green or a deep kind of purple. I know he likes his purples. So let's find out. I don't think we have to wait too long. I think he's arriving now. Let's see who's right. Ah, damn. Wow, let's check it out together. Let's go. Mr. Rami! Hey, Mr. Nassim! How are you doing, buddy? Nice, nice. Thank nice. you. What do you think? Loving it. Is it to your acquired taste? I yeah. didn't know, like, you know, you didn't tell me what you were going to do it. Yeah, I thought it would be a nice surprise for you to see the, the final result. Um, it's um, the, the, the sparkle under the light is just. Yeah. You can really see the fleck in it, huh? So, this is, this is a, a very special color um, yeah. to me. Okay. Um, it was about six months ago when I was looking at the different shades of purple because I do love my purple, you know, my yeah, Instagram yeah, handle. Yeah. Uh, purple Joker, check him out, by the way. I'll put a little tag at the bottom. Follow Rami, you'll see some good content. So thanks, man. Yeah. Um, again, uh, for me, it's a lot about what I like about the color purple, yeah. which is that it needs to be eye-catching. Okay. It needs to be... Um, a little bit of a candy kind of color, you Got know, it. like it reminds yeah, you of those yeah. Cadbury uh, dairy bars that you used to yeah. buy as a kid. You should totally put like a little. I, I am. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but my plan is to put that underneath here. So when the air brake goes up, the Cadbury logo comes that, underneath. That, that, that'll look sick. Yeah, that, that's kind of where it is. And you know, it goes with the um, orange tinges in the car, which is very, very subtle. I didn't want yeah. it to be overpowering. It does look good. Orange and purple are generally two colors that complement each other well. Thank so. you so much. So um, I like it. So yeah, it was, it was a lot of work. Um, this color comes from Ferrari. Okay. Uh, it's not McLaren. Uh, I wish it was so, a McLaren. So this is a paint or a wrap? This is a paint. A paint? This is a full paint job. Nice. Yeah. So it's and a, I'm assuming peelable. Yes, peelable, peelable paint, paint, absolutely. But the paint itself has come from Italy, Ooh, from special. Ferrari's uh, producer of paint. Okay. Uh, I won't disclose the names, etc. But it, this took almost six months, first of all, to get right. Okay. But also to source the paint. So they were sending it, you samples to see. Yes. So I was doing awesome. a lot of sampling, etc., etc. Mate, it's looking good. Thanks, buddy. It's looking good. I'm Appreciate it. it. Listen, good we've stuff. we've talked about the color too much now. I think yeah. you need to really appreciate the machine while we go take it for a nice cruise around I the like, block. What do you say? I like it. I love it. Let's yeah? do it. Yes. Let's do it. For sure. Let's get in this baby. Let's see if we're not a... There it is. Oops. 
that's not too convenient. Nope, but uh, this is your car. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I hit my own car right now. <laughs> awesome, let's get in if we can. Ah, uh, how do you do this? Ah, uh, it's a big window sill, eh? Uh, yeah. It's a big sill, it's one of the drawbacks on this car is how difficult it is to get in. Ah. But then wow. you hear this engine. Yeah. Let's and get out of here. Let's do it. Put it into this mode. And you know, these guys were actually very gracious to allow us to film here. So thank you for them. Thank you, uh, MR and the security guards, top notch yeah. guys. Thank you. So how about we start? So let, let's let's give everyone a very quick uh, overview of who is Rami. <laughs> so Rami Tolba, guy right here, the man, is a friend of mine, I'll introduce him real quick, is a friend of mine from, what is it, six years now? I think even longer. I think it's been six or seven years. We met through a car club and uh, we became friends we had similar BMWs in the past and then we transitioned into the Porsche territory and then he ditched us and got this McLaren. But, but I, but I, to be fair here, I did help him transition to the Supercar territory. He did. I'm he a did. bad influence. So, you know, so, so he, helped, he helped find my Porsche uh, for me, so I do owe gratitude to Rami. But that being said, let the people know, where are you from? How long have you been in the UAE? Cool. Uh, so, so I've been in the UAE for fairly a long time now. Um, I came here back in the uh, beginning of uh, 2011. Okay. Uh, and uh, I've been here now almost uh, 10 years. Nice. Uh, ten, uh, almost 11 years, actually. Me, me too. When, when did you get here? So I got here during uh, the, uh, the Egyptian Revolution. It was 28th of January, if I remember correctly. Of 20... 2011. 11. So yeah. you, you know, you came here before me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Why? Right. When did you come here? Uh, September of that year. Okay. So yeah, uh, few, I had a few months ahead of you. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm originally from the UK, as you can probably imagine from my British accent. Um, Your British accent, mate. Love my, it. Uh, yeah, mate. I'm Cockney. I'm, I'm, really, uh, I'm from London. So, uh, so yeah, born and raised in the UK. Okay. Uh, lived there all my life, pretty much. Um, I come from a mixed heritage background. So, uh, my father was Egyptian and my mum's French. Okay. So, uh, really a, a mixed family. Yeah, so I, I was uh, originally uh, uh, studying chemical engineering, so I'm an okay. engineer by, by, by nature. Okay. So. And then uh, I worked in oil and gas for a few years, uh, and then I uh, transitioned to uh, the safety industry, uh, as a matter of fact. And, safety uh, industry? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> So it's exactly what you think it means. Uh, first of all, see, I already know the answer to this. I just want him to say it. No, so, I'm, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting to the good bit in a minute. Yeah, right? no, so, no, no. Tell the viewers, man. Um, uh, condoms in the world as well. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Uh, <clears throat> condoms. 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 Hence in the, the world. safety industry. Exactly. Brilliant. So I'm, I'm really happy to come from that industry because it's uh, it's very critical to be safe in all types of ways. Of course. And both at work and at home. Hence, hence this COVID condom that we're wearing right Absolutely, now. Absolutely, right I here. I feel you, man. Safety <laughs> first. Safety first. So I'm very safety conscious. I and, love it. Uh, also, the fact that uh, uh, you know I've been lucky enough to you know work very hard at, at my job. Yeah. Uh, my first job was around uh, 13 years old. Oh wow! I did a paper round as okay. a kid. Nice. Uh, so I delivered the papers to the factories and so on and so forth. Yeah. Uh, and then I um, actually at the same time I started to work uh, part time in the hairdressers. So I was as, as a barber. Or? <laughs> no, I wish I was making a tea and coffee and washing hair and sweeping the hair off the floor and stuff like that. Okay, respect, you know, man, respect. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, it learned me, it taught me a lot. It taught me, uh, first of all, a lot of discipline, how yeah. to wake up on time, yeah. how to leave on time, yeah. how to take my lunch breaks, etc. So that was the start of it. And then when I was around 16, okay, uh, and at that time I started working in a menswear store. Uh, so I earned enough money to get myself a moped with a little help of dad. All right. And then, um, uh, I, I worked in uh, in menswear for about two years, okay. and then I mo went to work for another big clothing company called Marks and Spencers. I don't know if you've heard it. Uh, may have. 
They make good sandwiches. They make good they sandwiches. Do, right? They do, right? They make fish they, and chips. They make one of the best sandwiches <laughs> that you ever going to have. So then I worked for them for about four years while I was studying at university. And at the same time, uh, I got my first car there. Okay. Yeah. Now we get into car territory. All right. So what was the first one? So my very first car was a Volvo. A Volvo? <laughs> Tell me it was one of those nice, safe, boxy ones. I, I'm all about I, safety, so I wanted to right, go for the right. safest car. That makes so much right. sense. So I went for a, a 1979 uh, a 244 GL. I mean, it's like a tank. This was a tank, living tank. I mean, then I sold that, and I decided I need something a little bit sportier. Okay. Uh, at that time, I, I started my other second-time job whilst I was studying, which was um, I found I had a bit of a talent for DJing. Okay. So I was DJing in my my dorm room, and I I I was like, wow, this is actually something that I could do. A friend of mine introduced me to another friend. Is, is this DJing back from like the cassette days or was it, was it when CDs had kicked No, 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 so you're right. The cassette days where right? we had records. Yeah, the LPs. So we had the 12 yeah, inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I had these uh, wiki, 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 <laughs> scratching. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. first car when I arrived in Dubai was, I thought, since I'm living in such a great country and, you know, car prices at that time were pretty, pretty reasonable. Yeah. Uh, I decided, I said, okay, I can get an M5 E60, yeah. which at the time had a V10 engine. That's true. See, I've always been crazy about cars yeah. ever since I was like a kid, three years old, two years old. Yeah. My mom would complain about me putting my matchbox cars in the toilet and flooding <laughs> the whole toilet. Yeah. And and you know I think you probably had the same problem as I did. Um, We're putting matchbox cars in the toilet. I don't know. Did you? I, no. No. Okay. It's just me then. No, <laughs> that's all you. <laughs> so, um, okay. yeah, I wanted so a car that wasn't perfect, which was track. Okay. Right. So I didn't have a lot of experience in tracking. I went to the odd track day actually yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah. And we had the extreme. And then when I did that, and I was like, wow, this is fantastic. I really want to get into track. That's why this car comes alive, right? Yes. The, the LT especially. So the the Turbo S before this yeah. was what got me to track a lot more. It yeah. was such a great car, all wheel drive. It it's the precision of that the car on the track is ridiculous. phenomenal. Yeah. But I wanted an even more precise car, if, yeah. you can, if you can imagine that, right? With more power and because you know I love convertibles, yeah. I wanted a convertible. Yeah. And I was searching around and you know, you know there's some really great car brands, mm. Italian uh, cars such as Ferrari, such as Lamborghini, um, you know, McLaren was one of them. Uh, and I was looking at the car options and, you know, I compared them all together. Uh, you know, if you look at the Huracan, for instance, which is a yeah. fantastic car, right? Yeah. It has the best sounding engine. So it had that V10, which really sings, reminded yeah. me of my E60 back in the day. It does sound good. It sounds it amazing. It does sound really, especially if it's a uh, Spider. Oh, it sounds it's phenomenal. Just, it's next level. I mean, we, we were testing them before. Yeah. Uh, the popping, the exhaust, the, the, the looks of the car was fantastic, but it wasn't aggressive in terms of torque numbers. It, it was a little bit wobbly on the track. It wasn't okay. that stable. So I didn't really like that. And the fact that it had a soft top was also a bit of a drawback. That's true. That's true. Yeah, it would be nice if it was a bit more uh, like this one. Exactly. The Middle East, we, we can't do soft top. It doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. So, so that was why I discarded the, the Huracan. So, other than this car, now, now, now let's let's branch away a bit more towards Ferrari. Mm -hmm. As an individual, you've been blessed with nice cars that you've worked hard for. Respect to you for that. What what are you thankful for as well? Well, I'm, I'm thankful for for a lot of things. First of all, um, when I was younger, and you remember this, I used to be very overweight. Okay. And, uh, around 160 kilos which is around uh, you know 320 pounds yeah uh, I, was I remember that's, that, that's when we met we met yeah. around that time I had a lot of health problems okay uh, almost seven seven years ago yeah. and uh, I decided to take my destiny in my own hands get back to fit I'm now 85 kilos nice well full done. of muscle well 
Well I done. go climbing. I went climbing two days ago, did 25,000 steps, 2,000 calories, and five hours hike up the highest mountain in Oman. Brilliant. Board Ross uh, ship. Good for you, man. And uh, I'm really thankful that God gave me another chance to give me my health back. And I think that had uh, a lot of uh, a lot of effect on my my mental well-being. Yeah, of course, of course. And of course, my ultimate thank is you know I'm really thankful of, of my son uh, who's now eight years old. Eight I mean, years old, mashallah. Yeah, bless him. Bless it's been him. a long time. I haven't seen him in a while. It would be yeah, nice to see how he's grown yeah, up. Yeah, but you know he's he's now talking back about roadblocks and, and <laughs> stuff that I don't even know. You know. All yeah. this kid stuff, but it seems okay. to be technology he wants to be a blogger and stuff. So maybe, maybe I'll send him your way a little bit. All right, all right. So we're gonna do a speed round, just to really like make you think quick. Okay. I'm gonna ask you questions. Yep. And you gotta answer the first thing that pops into your head. Okay. A girl of your dreams or a car of your dreams? Car of my dreams. <laughs> no discussion. <laughs> Not even Not a here to judge. Uh, side of salad or side of french fries? Side of salad. Side of salad, okay. What's your favorite word? It's a curse. <laughs> um, the favorite YouTube friendly word? Uh, That's a tough one. Yeah. We'll, skip, tough we'll one. skip that one. iPhone or Android? iPhone. 100%. iPhone, okay. Uh, favorite actor? Uh, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Favorite actress? Scarlett Johansson. Okay. And last one? Hummus or guacamole? Hummus all day, baby. That's how we do hummus. <laughs> hummus style. Love it. So that was fun. I hope you enjoyed hearing Rami's story. This is a guy that really worked his way up from the bottom. Started out working when he was 13 without a car, right? And then he bought his first Volvo. And today he's driving a McLaren. And all because he worked his butt off, really proved himself time and time again over the years. And, and this is the whole point of me making these kinds of videos is that I want to try to inspire people that if you do work hard, you are able to play hard as well. And nothing is just given to you, it's earned. And I have the highest respect for Rami and people like Rami who have really proven themselves over time to get to where they are. So hopefully I'll have a lot more videos like this where I'll be able to tell the story of other people as well and motivate you to keep going and work hard and get to where your dreams want to take you. So thank you so much again for watching. And if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment, absolutely anything. And I'd love to get back to each and every one of you, hopefully, if, if I'm able to. So thank you once again. And until the next video. Cheers.